Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and I'm joined with... Skinny Mini! And welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney's Spirit of Justice. Woo! Last time we left off, we... Uh... What exactly? What was the big thing about last last episode? Uh, we found out, um, you and I had multiple personalities. That was last, uh, last episode? I think... But regardless... Even though that was the case, we found out that, and now we're trying to figure out. Oh, and he also described like what his alibi was, what he was doing during the show. But it seems odd because it's like, wait, he performed the routine that the master was supposed to do, and he said it was like a prank. But now we're like, wait a minute, maybe he was trying to deceive us. What he was trying to see was about was it's either cause, time, or what the victim was to perform. So. I'm kind of stumped on this. I'm looking at it myself too, and it's like, hmm. I kind of want to say the time. The, yeah, but that doesn't make sense. Why would it be the time? I don't know. What does the autopsy thing say again? Uh, let's see. Well, he, it was around two to four, but he died like at four or something, right? Yeah. You. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I think that is right because remember he said he could hear him performing the uh, the the time soba. Oh, so that wasn't him doing it. That must have been the you... TV. Hmm. So it so is. So he could have practiced. So he could have been practicing earlier. Mm -hmm. That's what we saw, and then he got killed, and then I guess whoever killed him set it up, and made it seem like, oh, he was practicing, and then when when what's-his-name left, then it's like, oh, okay. He did it. Okay, so I guess it was a time of the victim's death. I hope that's right. Please, God. It is. Woo! Alright, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> you wouldn't have tried to deceive us about the time of the victim's death! What? Yeah. Oh. What gibberish! Prosecutor Black will even testify to the time of the victim's death. I know. But he only testified that way. That, that way because he and Giru had been completely taken in. You mean, by the Soba Bill thing? <laughs> oh my god. Would you please forget about the story for a second, Your Honor? I was deceived. Pray tell, how did you end up managing to deceive two people while he was performing on stage? That's easy. All he had to do was use a certain prop in the dressing room. Oh? But what might that be? Was it a bill? I swear to God, Judge, if you do <sighs> The prop you endo used was... TV! TV! TV, 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 TV! Alright. This TV was used to view what was happening on the stage. Prosecutor Blackwell, when you came to the dressing room... Oh, what was you doing? He was... performing time soba. Blast! Could it be? Yes, it could. And it was! What you and Giru heard was not Master Tonito practicing his routine. It was Yuendo's performance as heard through his TV monitor speakers. <laughs> What, what? What? With the TV just inside the inner door of the dressing room, it could easily be heard from the hallway outside. Because we knew that Mr. Tonito was scheduled to perform time sober, we were easily manipulated into thinking he was still, he was still alive at the time, rehearsing. Yes, you acknowledge the day's program is why the two of you could be fooled this way. Simon, did the voice you hear belong to Master Tonito? Hmm. If the door was in the way, I couldn't tell exactly who the voice belonged to. But because I heard time sober, I just assumed it was Master Tonido. Who oh, oh. I can't believe I was taken by such a simple mind game. I love that animation, though. <laughs> he, was like, he was like really bad. <laughs> He's like, Aah! All of that is mere conjecture. Where is your proof defense? Yuendo moved the TV back when he discovered the body. After all, he couldn't very well leave it by the door. 
Because then someone might have figured out the trick he'd been playing. <laughs> and there's one more thing about Yuendo's actions that's suspicious. And that is... The fact that he flopped so badly on such an important occasion. What's so suspicious about that? Even pros slip up once in a while, you know. But I believe that this time it was intentional. Because Yueno knew it'd be strange to hear laughter coming from the dressing room. Oh my! It's... It's all just a bit too perfect to be sheer coincidence. Plus, if the voice prosecutor Blackwell and Gyuru heard was due to Yuendo scheming, then the victim's time of death could have been earlier than 4 p.m. In other words, Yuendo could have killed Master Tonita himself! <laughs> We've got you by the stones now, Yuendo, so you better confess everything. Does stones mean balls? I think they do. Okay. Well, witness, what do you want to say for yourself? We demand an explanation! Guendo! Uh, I, I confess. I, I tampered with the crime scene. Okay, so he didn't kill him, though. Yeah... You know, I have a theory about what may happen. Like, still to happen? I'm worried that's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Let's just hope it doesn't... Oh, God. Is it the defense's claim that Yuendo Tonido is the true murderer of this case? If he's tampered with the crime scene, then we have to at least consider him a suspect. Now, Jay... No, what? Now, wait <laughs> just one minute. Yes, I admit to messing with the dressing room, but I didn't kill Shisho. Then why did you tamper with the crime scene? I... I refuse to answer that question. G what? If you suspect this witness, then I have a question for you. What could it be this time? Yuendo had absolutely no reason to murder Taifu Tanaito. After all, why would Yuendo kill the man who recognized his skills and promoted him? He crazy. Oh, uh, well, his motive was, um, I can't think of a single thing. It appears you're also not aware of one other fact. <gasps> and that is, excuse you? Yeah, thank you. That the accused visited the dressing room between before 4 p.m. as well. Is it, is it not natural, then, to suppose that the accused killed the victim at that time? What?! Nobody told me Mr. Wet had also gone up there before 4 p.m. We were only discussing a time frame after 4 p.m., so I didn't think to mention it. You... <sighs> but now that you have made the time period before 4 p.m. relevant... Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. So, you really do not know what your client was doing during that time frame, do you? Uh... <laughs> Well, it's all very sudden, and, uh... Why did you wait until the very last second to contact me, Simon? Don't you give me that look. <laughs> and just so you know, Bucky never told me he had visited Massa before 4 p.m. either. Ugh! This sort of thing is exactly why I, that prosecutor keeps calling us unprepared! The defense will stop squabbling this instant. Uh, so sorry, Your Honor. Prosecutor said, Maddie, please continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Defense, you know the sober making implements in the dressing room, correct? Is he talking about the equipment for making soba noodles? You speak of the large bowl that's used to mix buckwheat flour and water. A long rolling pin and a special knife that's used to cut the dough into noodles. Precisely. These tools all come from the accused soba shop. You mean they didn't belong to Master Tonito? Mr. Wet had visited the dressing room to give the victim a soba-making lesson. 
And that visit was before 4 p.m. I'm afraid that after the accused needed a dough and made those noodles. He committed the act of murder. But, but wait! That doesn't add up! If Mr. Wet killed the victim before 4 p.m., why would he return to that room at a later time? Uh, uh, hmm. Ah! Oh, hey, oh! buddy! Wet Soba, your kid kaboodle when it comes to noodles! Oh my! Hi, Miss Chickadee! Hi, Slimey! The reason I went back is because Master Tonight ordered mm -hmm. uncooked noodles! <laughs> Uh, Mr. Wet. Uh, oh, uh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, 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 Yesterday, I brought noodle making tools to the dressing room at around 2 p.m. That shit when Master Tonido ordered uncooked <laughs> soba noodles to stock up on. Uncooked noodles to stock up on? Yes, yes, ma'am. This tomato kept the supply of silver noodles from my shop in his fridge. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. All right, all right, I think I got it. All right. Uh, he only had one sherbing left, so I went back to my shop to get some more. <laughs> uh, one serving of noodles in the fridge? Uh, but I thought the fridge was practically empty. Hmm. Anyway, the whereabouts of the missing noodles isn't all that important. You're right to me and guided when we came back to deliver the uncooked soba, correct? That's right, Simon! I made time on my busy day to deliver him the noodles. And you know what? He ignored me when I called him for a dinner doorway! He's just kept mumbling ragu lines for ages! So I got mad and went back to my silver shop! Ah, so that's why you got mad. If he's saying what he's saying is true, there's no way he could be the murderer. I swear I'm telling the truth, Miss Chica. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Bane, quick, get this man to the infirmary! <laughs> <laughs> why is he on the. He's on the skateboard. <laughs> Well, I dare say he's quite the <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, please accept the statements Mr. Wet just made now into evidence. I believe the accused statement about going to the room at around 2 p.m. is true. Or it falls within the victim's estimated time of death. Hmm, that opens up the possibility that the crime was committed between 2 and 4. That's some critical information. Yes, Your Honor. But other than that one point, Mr. Wet's statements are dubious and without proof. Objection! But they are the words of the defendant himself. Simon, back me up here! Hmm. He has a point. If I were the prosecutor, I wouldn't accept them either. Well, I understand the defense's feelings on the matter. This court is unable to accept anything other than the time the defendant made his visit. God, now what do I do? I trust you have no further objections, defense. At last, the time has come to send the soul of the victim onward to the Twilight Realm. Silence! What are you yammering on about, Prosecutor Sad Monk? We still have something we need to question the Uendo about. We do? Like what? Well, don't just stand there. But we don't have any evidence left to present! Have you forgotten already? Isn't there still a hidden witness you have yet to question? A hidden witness? Oh! That's right! Your Honor, there's still one more issue we haven't finished discussing yet. Oh? And what is this bit of unfinished business? We haven't finished discussing this issue related to innuendo. I mean, to- <laughs> dang it! To uendo. And, uh, the only thing that makes sense is, uh, Owen. Yep. Yeah. Meh, meh. Meh. 
We still have to discuss the possibility of a fourth personality, the one named Owen. Uh, are you suggesting that his fourth personality of Uendos might be the true culprit? Jeez, not that again. I told you we don't know anything about this Owen. Look, Uendo, I know you don't have any motive to kill your master, but... This Owen may have one... May have one for all we... Blah, may have one for all we know. Come clean now, Uendo. You've got another personality stash away, haven't you? Please tell us everything you know about Owen. That's enough! The witness has already stated he knows not of any Owen character. Bravo! You tell him, Mr. Prosecutor! <laughs> hey, Patches. If you claim you don't know Owen when you really do, that's tantamount to perjury. If you want to exercise your right to remain silent, however, <laughs> well, that's a different story. Do not listen to the depraved prosecutor witness. You will be tainted with evil. Do you have any idea how dark and cold a prison cell is? <laughs> <laughs> I I exercise my right to remain silent. <laughs> What's this now? Changing horses in midstream, are you? Shut up! I will remain silent. That's it. Patches, you fool! You say out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Patches is not the brightest bulb in that box you call a noggin, is he? The fact that he switched from I don't know any Owen to I will remain silent is proof that he does know about Owen. Th there it is again, Simon's formidable psych psych psychological manipulation tactic. I'm sure he's on my side. Oh, I'm sure glad he's on my side today. Mm -hmm. You dirty, despicable, depraved prosecutor! You were leading the witness! Witness, there's no need for you to submit yourself to the defense's questioning. Your Honor, Yuendo is definitely hiding something. Please allow me to question this witness about- Uh-oh, could you repeat that? Oh! Hmm. Uh, please allow me to question this witness about the existence of Owen. There we go. Hmm, I suppose only this witness can confirm and deny the existence of Owen for us. Uh, very well, I will allow the defense to proceed. Gah. Pokunka. He's making me not like that word anymore. Nope. <laughs> Alright. We'll hear about Owen. I've never met any personality named Owen. Patches were just blurting out nonsense in a panic. We're always aware, so we definitely notice if a personality like that showed up. How dare you treat me like a criminal based on mere conjecture? What does he mean by the, what that show up? Like that, yeah. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. How am I supposed to deal with the testimony of three personalities? Unless you can prove the existence of Owen here, it's all over. You'd best screw your courage in a sticking place and attack your t the testimony head on. Uh, Alright, I will. You know, like that stupid commercial, head on, just apply no. directly to the forehead. Head on, d apply directly to the forehead. Simon. Head on, apply directly for the forehead. Simon! Uh, yes. Just stop piling the pressure on me. I have to draw out some info, anything to drag Owen out in the open. <laughs> Alright. So, you're saying that he, he mentioned something like, a oh, personality like that or something? What was the, yeah, what was the like... exact statement? It was like the third one, right? Yeah. We're always aware, so we definitely notice if a personality like that showed up. So let's press on this one. Yep! But what if, for some reason, you three were unconscious at the time of the incident? If the three of you weren't alert and aware, what would happen? What would happen? I'm not even sure what you mean. I mean that you three share the same memories, right? But what if Owen is different? What if he has memories separate from yours? Maybe Owen emerges when the three of you are unaware or unconscious. <sighs> Instead of speaking as if this fourth personality is a foregone conclusion, 
I suggest you prove his existence first. Well, we've already seen three personalities. A fourth wouldn't be a stretch. Hmm. You dishonor the victim and this court by jumping to such conclusions without proof. Have you ever heard these old sayings, Prosecutor said, Maddie? What happens twice happens will happen thrice. If you see one, there are likely 30 in your home. I'm basing my theory on such premises. Comparing us to cockroaches, do we bug you that much, girly? But how do you intend to prove it? How will you prove that all three personalities became unconscious, as you say? Unless you can do that, all of this, all of this talk is merely empty speculation. Uh, well, I... Uh... Don't be so timid. If you don't have it, then find it. Look for something that can render you and the others unconscious. Simon's right. I can't back down now. For my client, Mr. Wet, I have to. What? Wait. Mr. Wet? Let me be rich. <laughs> Maybe if I were a lump of regular sourdough fruit and noodles. But I'm fresh, like my sober. They don't it so but dish fresh. So about the three freshes. Grind the buckwheat seeds fresh, cut the dough fresh, and boil the noodles fresh. Mm -hmm. And that was that. And he passed out. He's blacked out. <laughs> was there a purpose of that one? <laughs> Mr. Wet falling unconscious. Wait a minute. I think I've got it! Miss Sykes, do you have proof to back up your theory? Do we? Do I was gonna ask you. Uh, what did that flashback mean? He passed out. For what reason, though? Naming the freshness? Actually, uh, what, do you know what time we're at right now? Oh, from our little break, I was still rolling like two minutes. So, it's like 23, 22 minutes. Mm. Okay. I mean, I want to say we have to have proof, but I just don't know what. The victim was making soba noodles from scratch in his dressing room. The room was covered in soba flour. There are two drink cans in the fridge. The TV can use... What did he... Wait, what did he say? He was talking about the three freshes. That's like letting it rest. Or well, cutting it fresh. Gotta, I forgot. Gotta boil the noodles. Maybe when you boil it? Oh! The... What? Look at the last statement. Hold on. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the last piece of evidence, I should say. Oh. And no resting. Do not just. He's talking about the noodles. Mm hmm. Holy crap! Then that just changes everything. This is it even says your thought to have been written by the victim for his death. So that is that it? I guess I think that might be it. Grind the buckwheat, cut the cut the dough fresh, and boil the noodles. Okay, so, okay, yes, yes. Should we say yes? Hold on, let me save. I saw, oh crap! I didn't save. I just clicked yes. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'll get there. Save already. Yes. Do, do. Yes, Your Honor, I do. The proof is right here in this crime photo. It is. In that it case, is? please put out. Oh, please put out what supports your theory. This. Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> Go ahead, Jess, do it. No, it's okay. It's, it's your turn. Your your time to shine. <laughs> this most likely is what caused Innuendo to lose conscious. I keep saying Innuendo. <laughs> I gotta stop that. Uh. I I think it's the stuff on the left. The. Bo the bo pot? The pot or is it a pin thing? Is it the drugs? What drugs? I'm not the drugs, sorry. Is it, dr is it the drink? <laughs> the drink? You mean the orange drink right here? The orange drink? The camel? Phantom? Whoa! 
<laughs> oh! Do you see what I'm seeing? It's wrapping paper! Okay, so what And they're we... camels, so he must it. He just ripped her off of that! So, wait a minute, what do we present? Is it the wrapping paper or the drink bottle? I was gonna say the paper... I don't know! Ah! You wanna pick one, I'll pick one? Yeah, let me save real quick. Alright. Oh, we just saved. This is gonna be a long episode, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, guys! I'm gonna pick the pot. The pot? Okay, you do it first. Nope! No? <laughs> She's a Yondo's you know, most likely smacked over the head with this, and that's why he passed out. I may be softer than Nagan, but I don't see a single bruise on my head, do you? Well, then maybe it wasn't such a smack as a swing and a miss. Oh. Well, what a coincidence, Defense. Your assertion was a swing and a miss, too. <laughs> Athena, Yondo didn't need to Dang, be- Dang, Judge. <laughs> Yo, I know didn't need to be hit over the head to lose consciousness. I think it's the bottle. Did you try it out? Lord knows Bucky has okay. passed out several times today without being smacked. Oh, yeah, it is it. It's the bottle. Okay. Well, I should listen to you. Alright, orange drink. Oh, I should. Shut up. Orange yeah. drink. This is probably what made Yuendo lose consciousness. Ah, yes, the sake. Oh! I forgot oh, my he's a dude's drunk. Like, is... Yes. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I was thinking like he kept describing making a soba. I was like, maybe there's a chemical in the soba. If you don't get out of there, it's gonna make you pass out. No, I because I was like, he sounds like because it it flashed back to what's his face. To what? Um, Hibuki. Right. And I'm like, okay, it's not. He's not talking about the soba. He's just drunk. And I'm like. Mm, mm. Oh my god, he was drinking with Shisho! Yeah, see, I... I was confused. <clears throat> it isn't just like Master Tonight to pick up fine, fine brand like Camel. Sake? Oh, you mean rice wine? Is that what it is? Just rice wine? Yeah, it's really good. I'm, I've never had sake. I have every other liquor out there in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Well, not in the world, but I have like... You name it, tequila, bourbon, whiskey, scotch, cognac, you know, vodka. Hot sake is good. What was that? Hot sake is good too. Yeah, see, I, I had, I had all that, all that to drink. I don't think I've ever had sake. I, I need to have one day. We'll remedy that one day. Woo! Oh please, don't call it rice wine. That's so unsophisticated. It's, it's not even wine. Hm. Silly girl. I must agree. You need to become more cultured, Athena. Tomato, tomato. It's made of rice, and people get drunk from drinking it, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's called sake, and the story. Fine, sake it is then. Ay, caramba. Everybody's so touchy about these things. I recall Master Tonato would often have a drink or two before performing. He said it made him more eloquent. Drinking too much of this stuff can make one lose consciousness, though, of course. Boop. And look, there were two glasses on the table. Uh, Yuendo, I believe your master offered you some rice, uh, I mean, sake. And then you must have drank too much and passed out. That's when your fourth personality, Owen, emerged. Is this, wait, I just realized, is he smoking his fan? Yeah... Yeah, I don't get it. It's just... I drank sake. Oh, that's a good one. We have a real sweet tooth, you see, so yes, we did accept the sugary red bead bun. But since we really dislike sake, we said no, no thank you to that. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're really weak when it comes to booze. <laughs> Even a tiny drop can knock us right out. So, you, you see, I had a sweet manju bun, but I didn't drink any sake. What? That can't be right. The defense demands that the glasses be examined right away. You amateur, do you really think I had not already done so? You foolishness is beyond the pale. D don't 
don't tell me. There was no trace of the witness having touched either the glasses, naturally. Oh, right, of course. Miss Sykes, would you like to like the witness's statement added to his testimony? Uh, yes, please, Your Honor. Very well. So his new so. statement is, I had a sweet manju, but I didn't drink any sake. But here's the problem. If you go back to the crime photo, you'll notice that... Aren't those the buns right there in the bottom right? Yeah, in the paper. It's the covered... Paper. Right, so it makes me wonder... Are they camel flavored? Well, not, not camel flavor, but you know, like what? Camel brand, camel brand. You know, that has baka sake in it. That's disgusting. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's like, oh, brand. Oh, okay. That means. Do you think I should present it here, or...? Do it. Or do you want me to do it to oh, test? I'll do it. Okay. That was wrong! Oh. Oh, I know I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I did it anyway! Should we... <laughs> well, that's the only piece of evidence that we have. That's right. relevant. I missed something that, I missed something that would just said, too, because I was skipping all this. Oh. He's like, why is this incoming? <laughs> <laughs> did we just press on it, then? Um, yeah. Okay. So, if you had even a tiny sip of sake, you'd conk out, conk right out, huh? That's why you didn't touch the glass that M Master Tornado offered, correct? Yes, that's right. Then maybe you ate something that had sake in it as an ingredient. Damn it, I was thinking too far, too far ahead. I don't recall doing anything like that. Hmm, he doesn't recall doing it. But doesn't that necessarily mean he didn't? He might just not have known that he did. I'd better take a good look at the evidence. So he didn't drink any sake, huh? Oh boy, now we're in trouble. That kind of answer is exactly what Sadmo keeps insulting you. Now use your head! There yeah, Athena, come on! <laughs> there are countless ways you end up could have gotten sake into his mouth before drinking it. Uh, well... I don't know about the countless part, but... He stuck it up his butt with an enema. I, I mean, but nothing. Give it some thought and you'll no. figure something out. You ever heard people do that? I, I could have sworn I heard a story where some dude got drunk by signal liquor up his uh, bunghole. What? The yeah. f what? is wrong with you? I'm just stating a story that I heard. I'm not telling people to go, uh, go buy liquor and stick it up your butt. No, I'm just saying that I heard a story. Or for whatever reason, a guy gave himself an enema using liquor, and he somehow got drunk. Please continue. It's you! Oh, okay. So, the witness must have had something that contained sake. Is there anything in the court record that hints at something like that? What? So... Oh. So, did we have to press on that first? Me now I'm afraid to push the press the crime photo again. It, may, maybe it's the the note because of the camel thing. No, because that you're thinking too far ahead. Oh. I think the game. Yeah, I don't know then. I'm unsure. But I think it is the crime photo. If you want to present it, you can go ahead. I'm scared to, because I already did. Because I feel like it's one of those things where you had to press on it first, then present. It's a possibility. Let me try it again. Nope. Mm. So, okay, there has to be a piece of evidence. Oh, that was cute! They called him a panda again, and he's like... And she's like, ah, oh, down boy, nice panda. Oh, see, they didn't do that with me. That's so cute. Uh... That doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused. 
I don't know. What piece of evidence is... It? It's the crime photo, is it the... Are we not doing it the right statement? It's the only one that makes sense. I had a sweet mandibun, but I didn't drink any sake. And you, you said you represented the, the crime scene report on that, right? Yeah. The only thing I can think of it is the notes, because it has the camel thing behind it, but I don't think that's right. I think you're on the right track, but... I found I'd be too far How ahead. do we get there? Yeah. Because she's saying we need to present evidence. I was hoping we can present the photo, and he's like, Oh, well, why do you say that? And I, like, point at the thing. Oh, I think you're right. We may have to present the receipt. Not the receipt, the, uh... The notes? Yeah. Let me I'll try it. Okay. Because I'm already down yep, to... that was it. Dang it, I... Okay. You should have went with it. It was just... Nice. Good job, Vera. Yay. Oh, that's me. This shows what most likely made Uendo lose consciousness. That note? Are you feeling lightheaded, child? Or perhaps a bit peckish? I'm not hungry, and my head feels just fine, thank you very much. <laughs> I love how angry Widget is. <laughs> Look at the paper this note is written on. Isn't there something familiar about it? What exactly is your point, Defense? Hmm, this strange design here reminds me of the paper from... Eh, come on. Yep, it's a piece of the wrapping paper on the box of manju buns. Manju buns, the victim on the... Ugh, by the victim on the floor! <laughs> Yuendo, you may not have drunk any sake, but you did eat a sweet red bun, right? Well, yes, that's right. I don't know if you're aware of it or not, you know, but I believe the manju bun you due to fall unconscious. Hmm. Uh, uh, the bean bun? But how? Because those buns contain a secret ingredient. A very punchy and secret ingredient at that. A uh, punchy secret ingredient? Yes. The design on the wrapping paper matches that of something else in the room. It, it does? The design on this object matches the manju, manju box wrapping paper. And that's the sake. Take that. The camel pattern. It's the same as the one for camel brand sake. Oh. So, just as Yuendo said, he didn't drink any sake per se. But he did eat some. Impossible. Yuendo had a camel brand red bean bun, which boasts a nice shot of sake as one of its ingredients. So the defense is claiming that Yuendo passed out after consuming a camel sweet bun, which allowed a fourth personality named Owen to emerge. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. That's exactly what I'm claiming. <laughs> that. It's all over my beard. <laughs> well, there's one thing that bothers me. Wouldn't the alcoholic content of the buns evaporate as they are steamed? In order to give them a stronger flavor, some manju are specially made to retain as much of the alcoholic content as possible. <laughs> what kind of lightweight do you think I am? Even I wouldn't pass out from eating a simple manju. Then how about we test that theory? What do you say, Your Honor? Hmm. Seeing is believing, as they say. <laughs> Very well, I will allow a test. Ah, thanks, Your Honor. Simon, go buy us some camel manjus on the double. And don't forget to get me one too, okay? Why must I... <laughs> and while you're at a prosecutor, Black Wolf, you will get one for me as well. <laughs> I'm not the courthouse stable boy, you know. Oh, ah! yeah. But just but just this once, I'll, acqu I'll acquiesce. Taka, I'm counting on you. Hey, Taka. Oh, bye, Taka. Oh, okay. And all of you had better pay me back. <laughs> oh, but I thought it would be your treat, Oscar Blackwell. Well, what a shame. 
<laughs> now then, let's enjoy while the Manju arrived by Carrier Hawk. <laughs> what will we convene as soon as Taka returns? Boop. Also, she flies back. I'm here! Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, thank God. I need to end oh. the episode, too. Ooh, thank goodness. Ooh. Yay! That was fun. That was. That was interesting. I'm surprised that we started off with the trial. Well, I'm still surprised because are we not going to have investigation or is it just going to be... Well, I guess not because we have all this investigating out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, all this evidence. It just seems odd. Why, why make the fourth episode... I don't want to say shorts, but I feel like something should happen, you know? Maybe it's going to lead into the fifth case, like last game. That's yeah, possible. Oh, whatever. We're still having fun. I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, I guess next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll continue on with the trial. And uh, we'll take things from there. Hmm? Yup. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I will we'll see you all next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. Woo. Woo, indeed. Have a great day, everybody. Sake. 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 Somebody, sake me. Someone say stop me. That didn't look right. Okay, you know what? Just, I'll shut you up. You should have just said sake me. Sake. Sake to me, sake to me, sake to me, sake to me. And we're done with this video. <laughs>